Hi, Mike from Dirty Dog here. We're here to show you our new cargo lighters for the Bronco four-door. Uh, we have two different styles. Fits both soft top and hard top. Uh, depending on the type of user you are, what you use your vehicle for, decide which one you want to go with. Uh, this one here we have in place right now is the two-door, or sorry, is the rear cargo area only. And uh, it covers up, protects around the sides, protects the whole back of the seat, curves over just over the top of the edge of the seat just to protect that. Um, very easy on and off, very simple install. It takes you five minutes to install or, or less and pull it off. Uh, a couple little features on this product. Um, one thing is it is a rubber line back on there, so you actually get some waterproof material with it. So you put anything wet in, it's not going to soak through to your carpets. We've also put sewn into the uh, side panel here where your subwoofer is. There's a nice little soft pad there so you don't get that rattling because anytime you've ever, many of us put a bag or something or if it's plastic it'll rattle with the subwoofer. So all this does creates a soft spot and that way it doesn't, uh, it doesn't uh, ruin your sound of your vehicle. And it uh, goes that way. Insulation goes, it's very easy, you get easy access to your, your, your hatch. Um, goes in both ways, the, the, both the full length and the short version. And this also works too. You have the rubber mat the liner in place the mat just drops in on top and you can actually put the liner on top of the mat as well too um, easy to clean vacuum clean it off um, take it in and out whenever you need to use it it's great if you're uh, if you're a wheeler you have a dog this is the best thing in the world because you know how badly the panel scratch up uh, anything from firewood you name it we've used these in our jeeps for years I tell you difference it makes before we started using this the panels get scratched up so bad uh, one other feature we have too is we have, let me zoom over here too, is a door protector. And this door protector basically protects the back door. You can also use it on the end here. The Velcro's on to the end of the, there's Velcro spot there. So it protects your bumper as well too. So if you're putting stuff in or you just want to keep your dog from scratching your bumper every time he jumps up in and out, uh, that's a great little feature to add on there. And you know, if you want, you can just fold it in or you just take it off. It's very easy to pull it off, stick it back on your door and you're ready to go. And I'll show you the four-door liner here. Let's switch it up. So this is the uh, full-length liner installed. So this goes front to back. Fits the same way as the the, the, the rear cargo one. You've got uh, your pocket fit on the here, access here. You got your snaps to the side. You got your uh, subwoofer pocket or to protect your subwoofer. <coughs> um, this one has a solid bar across the front because there is no. Uh, it keeps it nicely so it doesn't droop in the center. We need to put that bar in there. And you can adjust each one if one person puts a seat far, further forward. You can adjust it so it stays level. And again, this protects your sides, protects your doors, in and out. It works the same way. So that's it. So that's your two choices. Now, some of you may ask, can I take this full length one and make it into a, a rear cargo area? Let me show you what it'll look like. Because of that height, you have a very short height there compared to the back seat. It'll work. Will it be pretty? No, but you can do it if you just want to, and you you know you don't want to you don't want to take it out all the time, but you want to leave it in the back. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So, those of you that want to know if this the, the full length one will work, it's a rear carry or as a rear only. If you don't want to use the full length the whole time, um, again, we didn't make it universal. We'd have one for the rear, one for the front. Uh, try as you much. Universals don't work anywhere near if you do something quality, a quality fit. It's kind of like when you lose your remote for your TV and you buy one of those universal remotes and it's like you fumble around with it until like, okay, I hate this thing. Well, it's the same thing when you buy a universal product. So, but you can make this work to fit in the back only. As you can see, we've taken the bar here that was around the front seats. We put around the headrest and the rear seats. Now you have to make sure you put it up high. If you're running a soft top, it's gonna to hit your uh, bars, it's gonna hit your railings. So you wanna make sure, it's the same with the hard top too, you wanna to put it up high. And then just do your best to bunch the extra material out of the way. Leave your hooks hooked up there and use the best. You're going to have like your plastic uh, the sort of side support that just going to sit there. So you can make it work. Yes, uh, by all means make it work. Not the prettiest, but if you don't want to buy two of them, this, this will work for you. So yeah, well, you're, you're covered off and everything else still works the same way. All right, so uh, that's it. Uh, take a look at one of our cargo liners and see what you think about them. Have a great day.